Okay, how are we doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Game. Now, I've done demonstrations, as I said before, against the DMP Supernova Elite Dark Star 9 and some other screens, uh, high performance screens. So, today we are talking about cheap screen paint and the technology which we developed under the Luminous Nanotech 4K and Luminous Nanotech Black 4K. This is our more higher and extreme advanced panel and blackout cloth projection screens. Now, they are far surpass our technology, the one we actually have under Nano and Invisible, but even the Nano Invisible next to this stuff right here is still more superior than this screen paint right here. Now, this is cheap screen paint that you will find some people using on YouTube or selling on YouTube. Keep in mind, I would not buy this stuff. I would basically, you can make it yourself. It's just simple and plain. If you watch some of the demonstrations done by some of these people who do these videos online, they will show you how they make it. Now, like I said, most of it is just two teaspoons. If you're doing a quart, it's just two teaspoons of black. And the more black you put into it, the darker the screen, the less you put into the lighter the screen. That's based about it. Black and white paint. They may add a little bit of Metallica paint into it uh, to give it a little bit of a kick or some glitter. But all the same, it's dirty. So, this right here is the lighter version, less black. No, actually, this is a little more black. This is actually less uh, black. This right here has more black and a little bit of white into it. And this one right here is basically uh, uh, less black, but it has a bit of a darker tone than this and this. Now, we're going to do contrast screens. As I said before, you know, when you're watching demonstrations, you got to ask, what is the difference between your black screen, any other black screen out there, what is the difference? Because if you don't ask those questions, you're going to get stuck paying for some crap, some really some bad crap. And that's pretty much what it is. I call it dirty paint because it comes up dirty, and it really does. There's a difference between these high-end screens out here on the market and purchasing this stuff or making it either way so uh keep in mind that if you're going to go out and spend the money take the time to get a really good projector what's the point if you're just going to put it on a crappy surface there's just no point of it at all all right it's like getting a custom car built with the best parts on the face of the planet but when it comes to the engine you go and eh, you know what just put a hamster in there with a wheel i'm good that's pretty much what you're doing all right so we're using ViewSonic Full 1080p Projector DLP 3200 Lumens. We are around probably about a good maybe, I like to keep my projector back, about a good maybe about uh, 10, 9 to 10 feet from the screen. And there is my screen right there painted with the um, darker gray and the black. All right, so I'm going to show you what we're getting. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these demonstrations are done in very poorly lit environments. They use high power projectors, and if they are doing it with a fully lit environment, then the projector is a very high end projector, such as 4K or basically a uh, short throw projector with a high amount of lumens. If they're doing it on low entry level projectors, then the environment is dark. Anything to accommodate the screen to make it look good. But I'm going to show you what you're actually getting next to our luminous technology. All right, so let's remove this. All right, now, as before, I'm gonna let you look at the screen so you can see what you think looks amazing, but really isn't. Just wanna show you this. Okay, so we'll start here. This demonstration has no sound, so just bear with me. Now, look at the snow on the black. And you're thinking the white levels are very good on the black. The white levels are very good on the gray. This is a dirty screen. Just look at it. Now, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to bring it back. All right. I'm going to cover the projector because when somebody tells me what is the difference between my black screen paint or my black coatings, I'll show you. What is the difference between the black? Luminous. What is the difference? Let's see. All right. That's the difference. A black luminous, luminous screen can generate a higher and brighter white level, which means the colors pop and it still can maintain contrast at the same time. Now, watch this really carefully at the demonstration. Now, you see the snow scene? Look at the snow here 
Look at the snow here. Look at the snow here. It's dirty. Now where the black screen where you thought the white levels were perfect, they're not. It's dirty. This is dirty. This is the color of snow. It's a shame you spend money for a good projector, then you're just cheating the crap out of yourself with a trashy screen. Look at this. See how it just cuts a hole into the picture? It looks like a vortex. You can just walk right through it. Now that's the difference between our black screen and any other black screen in the market. Now we can go back. We'll take it back, okay? And take it back now for those who are going to say you know what Ken lights out buddy lights out turn the lights out let me see what you got now I bet you that screen will look better with the lights out okay so we'll come over here knock out our lights got it nice and dark in here don't we come over here I want you to look at the screen again step back behind the projector so we don't trip over it I want you to look at the screen all right let's start it again Look at the white levels here and here. And this is how a lot of some of these demonstrations are done. They're done in the dark. So you think you're getting a beautiful picture when you're not really getting a beautiful picture. Now you take a sheet of DMP Supernova, you take a sheet of um, uh, of any of those high-end screens and you put it against the surface and I guarantee you you'll see a difference. Now I'm going to take the black screen I'm going to put it right here center again. Alright, step back over here. I'm going to trip over my projector in the dark. I'm going to come back. I'm going to bring the camera up. That focus will go well. Let's zoom in. Tell me what you see. Now you see how dirty it is here? See the dirty? How dirty the screen is? Even with the lights off, you're still cheating yourself. That's a black screen that's producing a higher white level than cheap black screen paint or cheap black gray, dark gray screen paint. Now, go back here. I'm going to pull up some color. Let's see what color would look like in the dark next to our technology. See how dirty the reds are here, how bright they are here. Now we'll pause it here. All right, let's show you what you're getting. Her screens are designed to thrive with the lights on. That's why the only way that screen is going to look good, it has to be in the dark, which that's where you're going to be at, in the dark with your screen. Now look at the levels right here. A 
levels are supposed to be white. Now I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to show you something It's going to knock your socks off. Bear with me for one minute. I'm going to show you a little demonstration. It's going to knock your socks off. I'm not going to do that one. I got something particularly in mind. I'm going to show you. Also too, look at the contrast. Look at the contrast on our screen and white levels at the same time. That right there is incredible, but that's not what I want to show you. That's not what I want to show you. I'm going to show you something that's basically going to show you, uh, give you more of a better understanding on the technology. All right, here we go. This is what you got to see. Now before my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Game, showing you the difference between our black technology, our luminous 4K black, compared to anything out there on the market. Like I said, I'm gonna test high performance screens and screen paints. Now just to prove that when it comes to black screen paints, we are different from the rest, or when it comes to black projection screens or panels or blackout cloth, whatever it may be, that we are different. You know, like I said, I've offered for other people to do the same demonstration. What is the difference between your black screen and the other black screen out there? Take your screen, put it against another black screen, see what the reaction will be. Or take a lighter sample sheet and see if your screen can match it. Alright, thank you all for your time.